What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick but beautiful DIY furniture restoration for you. Before we get started, if you could hit the like button, that would help me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. So let's jump right into it. I found this dresser listed as a part of a garage sale on Facebook Marketplace. What really drew me to this piece was that it was in really good condition. It was relatively cheap, and those legs were in that tapered style of mid-century modern that I really love and I think is really popular right now. I was able to snag it for $25. It was in pretty good condition, so originally I thought that I could sand off the top layers of stain and just restain it and reseal it. So to test out that theory, I started sanding right away. I soon realized that the top of this dresser was a thin veneer that sat on top of some particle board, and it was sanding away very easily, a little too easily, so I figured I would just scuff sand everything else and paint the entire dresser black. I used my wood filler to cover up some of the scratches and some of the dents that were in the dresser, and I used it to cover up the holes of the previous hardware because I was going to drill new holes for my new hardware. After I scuff sanded all of the surfaces of the dresser, I did one coat of my primer. Even though I was doing a dark color, I still wanted this layer of primer just to seal away any of the chemicals or anything else that would seep up through the wood. And don't forget, all of the products I used will be listed down below. For the actual paint color, I first used the bare line of chalk paint, and I thought it was going okay, but I soon realized that because I was brushing it on, the brush strokes were super evident, and it wasn't as dark of a black as I had wanted.
So after I did a couple layers of this bare chalk paint, I switched over to a different black that gave me a much nicer finish without as many streaks. In between some of the layers of paint, I drilled in my new holes to fit the size of my new handles. I finished this all off with a lacquer top coat, something that I didn't film but really lended itself to that mid-century modern glam style I was going for is that at the bottom of the legs of the dresser, I actually painted it gold. I just used some frog tape to mark off where I wanted and then spray painted the bottoms with a satin bronze gold. It almost gives it that illusion that the bottoms of the legs have that gold metal finish, but it's just paint. I added on my beautiful new handles that I got from Amazon, and the piece was done. So to recap some of the numbers for this piece, I paid $25 for the dresser. I spent about $50 on materials, so in total my cost for this piece was $75. I have listed it on Facebook Marketplace for $350, and I have gotten a lot of views, so I'm super happy with that. I'll be waiting a couple days just to see how many offers I get, but I have a really good feeling that I will be able to sell it at $350, which makes my total profit $275. Big pieces like this definitely do take a lot more more time. You have to paint a lot, you have to wait for the paint to dry for several hours. It is a tedious process. But if you have the time and you find a piece like this at a really good cost, I say go for it. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to click that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more DIY videos from me coming up. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time.